Hey YouTube, this is Trains and Destinations, and here I'm going to take a drive in the 2008 Acura TL, daytime drive of course. As you can see, this is um, more of a base model. It doesn't have the navigation system, but that's perfectly fine. Still has a very nice radio in it. Got your climate control here and your compass. Of course, your clock is there. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Your overhead lights and sunroof controls. So, not bad at all. I have said this in other videos, but this car only has 40,000 miles on it. This was my grandma's car, but unfortunately she died three months ago. So this will basically become my car. Um, as soon as the her will and estate are all settled and whatnot. Brakes are pretty good as you would expect. It's just accelerating it normally. The transmission is a little harsher than your typical automatic transmission, but um, that's how these things are supposed to be. This is more of a sports sedan. Although, despite that, it's still pretty comfortable. Rides good. I wouldn't say the handling is absolutely amazing, but. You know, it's perfectly good for what it is. And it's just really a, a rather easy car to drive. It feels very nimble. That's what I like about the TL. Um, it feels very nimble, and even though this is a mid-sized sedan, it really doesn't feel that big. It really doesn't. The other vehicle I drive, which right now is a 2011 Ford Ranger, in fact that's my main vehicle since this one isn't officially mine yet, um, that one definitely, you know, you feel the size of that of that truck, but this car, it really does feel like a compact, it's very nimble, uh, feels lightweight, um, but yet weighted enough to where it feels very, you know, very secure, very substantial. Um, it's just overall a really nice driving experience. Let's see if I can get in acceleration run right here, which I can. This 
car has a lot of power. 250 horsepower to be exact from its 3.2 liter V6. And man, does it pack a punch. Just effortless power. And of course, it, you know, with that Honda VTEC, this engine likes to be revved. Uh, the red line is 6,800 RPM, and uh, you can easily get it to 6,800. This engine likes to be revved. That's where, where all the power is. Uh, and, you know, it's just a joy to drive, really. This car is just really a joy to drive. So I'm just going to get some food here, and then we'll continue along with the test drive. But here, braking again is good. Going around tight spaces is fine. Now the steering is a bit heavy. That's one thing that is a downside. The steering is on the heavy side. And so if you're an older person, um, now my grandma, she didn't, she famously didn't like this car towards, unfortunately, the end of her life because the steering wheel is hard to turn, uh, which I agree, this is very heavy steering. Um, if you're used to driving an older BMW, like the steering of this car is kind of like an older BMW. And not to mention that it is pretty, it's a pretty low, you know, you have to really, it's not the easiest car to get into. So by the end of her, by her later years, my grandma more or less grew to dislike the car. But anyway, just get a quick bite to eat, then we'll continue the rest of the test drive.